Hello, my name is Sam Patel and welcome to another episode. Today we're going to be talking about how to save a failing Kickstarter project. So today's episode is all about how to save a failing Kickstarter project. I know, very sad, we don't want projects to fail, but sometimes they do fail. And here are some ways to try and save a Kickstarter or Indiegogo failing project. So let's get that into that. First thing you gotta do is understand why it's failed. A lot of the times we're not actually looking at the reasons why it's failing. So in the first three days, you should at least be able to achieve 60% of your funding goal. So if your funding goal is 10,000, then you should have at least raised around 6,000. If you've done 60%, then you're more likely to actually reach your funding goal. You need to work out how far you are actually from your goal. Um, if your goal is, you know, a hundred thousand and you've only raised 6,000, it's going to be very unlikely that you're going to end up getting to that amount. You've also got to work out whether what you've actually said your funding goal is and what your real goal is and how far you are away from that. Sometimes projects, what they do is they put the funding goal really low just to encourage people and get the crowd going. But if you are... If you've only raised 10,000 and your actual funding goal is 100,000, then you are miles away from that goal. And it's very unlikely that you will actually end up hitting that goal. So you've got to work out what's actually gone wrong. Did you actually build up the mailing list or did you just rely on friends and family? So if your mailing list was about near about 10,000 and your goal was about 100,000, and you didn't raise that amount, then yes, you know, you've done everything right. You need to now work out what's gone on. So you need to work out whether in the first place you built up a big enough mailing list, built up a big enough community. That's that's one of the first things. If you haven't built up a big enough community in accordance with your crowdfunding goal, then you're most likely not gonna be able to raise enough. So we always say the most basic amount of list that you should have is around 5,000. Regardless of what your crowdfunding goal is, build up a list of around 5,000 people at the very minimum. And this is the best way to generate a chance of success. Yes, chances of success, well, success isn't guaranteed by no means, but if you put these things in place, then you're gonna stand a much better chance. The next thing you need to work out is your email open rates how good are your email open rates? If you built up a community of five to 10,000 people and you've sent out an email and your open rates are below 20% and your click-through rates are below 3%, then you, you know something's wrong with this process. You can even use some of the techniques to actually get your email open rates up. So you should be aiming for about 50%. Um, if you've, built up a list then your problem is that not people aren't seeing your message that you've launched so maybe you need to run Facebook ads to remarket to these guys to make sure that they can see that you guys have launched or you need to do some email resplitting techniques and make sure that getting the message that you are now live so these are some of the things that you need to do to make sure that people can see you've actually gone live um, a lot of the times the email open rates are just low and this is one of the reasons why. The other thing you can do is you can check whether whether there's other things that you've missed out. Is the product actually good enough? Maybe you're not promoting the best selling points of the actual product. Maybe the USPs of the product aren't right. So you wanna make sure that you're presenting the project and you're representing the key selling points of the project well. Sometimes a lot of creators, they make the the mistakes of not presenting the project well, and these are some of the reasons why, again, it's it doesn't end up succeeding. But when you're getting to that stage of working out what's gone wrong, 
Um, and if you definitely haven't hit your funding goal within the first couple of days or you're really far away, then no amount of doing anything is gonna actually save you. So this video is more about, you know, don't end up spending more money. A lot of people get into the gambling mentality or what I like to call the gambling mentality. And this is just like if you're at a casino, you end up putting some money in. If you lose that money, you end up putting in some more money and you keep putting in money to try and get back the money that you've lost. So sometimes you just gotta say, hey, you know what? This project is not gonna get me anywhere near my funding goal. The, the, the thing I need to do now is just stop anything. I don't need to invest in any services, any websites. I don't need to list my product anywhere because it's so far away from the funding goal. It's nothing is gonna save me right now. No marketing agency is gonna be able to save you if you haven't raised 60% of your funding goal. And that's really important. We actually don't take on any projects. If you're, if you're not over 60% funded in the first couple of days, we're not taking on any project. And there's no point going to another crowdfunding agency. There's a lot of agencies that will message you and say, hey, you know, we can help you. They're not gonna be able to help you. Just think about it. You're getting sucked into that gambling mentality. Save your money and think about doing a relaunch. This is the only way that's gonna potentially save you. Do a relaunch after working out what actually went wrong. I hope you guys found that very helpful. I know it's not, it wasn't the most positive of episodes or <laughs> your tutorials, but you know, sometimes you've gotta make these decisions. If projects aren't going well and you know it's far from gone, there's no harm in just, you know, no shame in just relaunching it and doing properly. For those of you that want more tips, tricks, and traffic and hacks, um, don't forget my Facebook group. It's got over 2,500 creators, people that are in the same position you are, offering help to each other. I've got five years worth of content in there. Um, I've also got a Facebook advertising book. So don't forget to check out the comments and see you on the next episode. Thanks for following and signing off.